we start this video, I want to talk to you about our fabulous sponsor, Noom. Now, I'm filming We're Here, and I'm on camera, and of course, I'm always here on my YouTube page, um, and I uh, I want to feel TV ready and feel good about my body, feel good about myself when I'm filming. That's why I'm excited to talk to you about Noom. Now, Noom is a consumer-led digital health platform, and they are experts in behavioral change. Okay, so Noom uses a combination of human coaches, psychology, and scientists to empower people to take control of their own health. Now, Noom knows that there's no one-size-fits-all approach to weight loss, so they can help you be your best self and unlearn any negative association that you previously had with food, body, or self-perception. There's also education on the app to learn more about your nutrition and healthy eating and amazing recipes for how you can learn to cook. Baby, listen, I'm a big fan of their pan chicken fajitas. I'm like, I'm basically Emerald Sagazi right now. I am a chef at this point. Now click the link below or go to noom.com slash Bob the Drag Queen to take your free Noom evaluation for a quick and easy custom plan. Again, that's N-O-O-M dot com slash Bob the Drag Queen. All right, back to our video. Hello, my bobbleheads. Welcome back to my page. It is me, Bob the Drag Queen, and I have my special guest, Ocean Kelly, for another purse first impression. Wow, we award winner. Yes. You gotta add that in there. Bitch. Period. Um, yeah. Oh, we, we gotta, we gotta close that mic. Oh, yeah, yeah. Wow, we award winner up in this piece, bitch. Yes. Um, And we are on a mission. Girl. There, there, allegedly, there has been zero glamour detected at RuPaul's Dragon 2022. That's the word on the streets. Not an ounce. <laughs> of not an iota of glamour has been located anywhere at the LA Convention Center over the three days, mm, three whole days. The rhinestones, mm. the bugle beads, mm. the sequins, mm. the glitter, mm -mm. the makeup, and not even a smidge of glamour. That's wild. We got to investigate. That's wild. Let's confirm. Can we read some of my favorite tweets regarding this? Hold on. Anyone who uses Twitter on a laptop is a social is a serial killer. Shea kool tweeted out, DragCon 2022 will one day re be remembered as the year where no measurable or quantifiable beauty was seen. That's fucked up. That's a banger. That's fucked up. So this all started because on May 16th, Gia Gunn tweeted, say what you want, but I saw zero beauty at this year's DragCon. What happened to the glamour? This has 971 comments, 2,053 retweets, 9,446 likes, and it just sparked madness. That's crazy. And I love how it doesn't specify from like fan to queen or nothing. It's just zero. <laughs> zero. <laughs> nothing at all. Bitch, the, not the custodians. <laughs> right. <laughs> Not, not the vendors. Okay. Not the queens. Not a person. Um, now, okay, before we get started, you were, you went to DragCon. I did, yes. How many days did you go? I went all three days, actually. I oh, did. By the way, this is to get ready with me, so we should go ahead and start oh, putting yeah. our makeup on. Let's do it. So this is to get ready with me. We're going to start putting on our makeup, and then we are going to take a gander at some of the alleged glamour. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. That was at... RuPaul's Dragon 2022. So, so how did you find out about this uh, this this Gia Gun tweet? Um, how did I find out about it? I honestly just I think I was just like logging on Twitter and I saw it. Oh no, you know what it was? It was Pheromone's responses. Did you see what Pheromone said back? Girl, Pharaoh was, was going. Okay, <laughs> Pharaoh was going wild. Yeah, that's what it was. I was like, what what is going on here? But yeah, it, ridiculous. I was there the whole time and everybody was looking really stunning. So you know. Let me, I want to investigate deeper to, oh, yeah. really, to really confirm that. We got to really go deep. We got to dive deep, honey, to find this glamour. All right, uh, Mitch, you want to get us kicked off with some alleged glamour? Okay, up first we have Blair St. Clair at her booth. Blair is, okay, first of all, this wig looks beat. It is a, this wig is very nice. Yeah, it looks really, really good. Her mug looks good too. It's very soft. It's very soft and it looks really, really good. Okay, Blair is giving cis woman at DragCon. Very much, very much. You know, that's what that's what a lot of people were commenting about me as well. So I'm very I'm very curious to see. They're like, who's auntie? <laughs> Not auntie, dang. Who's, I can't be the older cousin. <laughs> who, 
auntie a drag. <laughs> Somebody come get your auntie a drag gun. <laughs> Tell your auntie to put to pull her pants down. Oh my god. Uh, why your auntie mid drifting? Um, wait, we gotta go back. To, we gotta. Wait, 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 we have to determine each one whether there's glamour or not. What? Well, so what defines glamour? That's my. The, what, what? What? What would you say is like three things that would define glamour? Ooh. Okay. I'm gonna say the mug. Okay. Okay. This is good. The garment. Okay. The hair. Okay. Period. Period. The mug, the garment, the hair. Okay. Okay. Now, Blair St. Clair, is it glamour? It's glamour. It's glamour? It's glamour. I'm going to give it glamour, too. You Blair St. Clair, this is glamour. You got to say, like they said, it's chocolate. It's glamour. It's <laughs> All right, who do we have next? Okay, we have Jan. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. We both can't pause like that. We both can't pause like that. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. What do you think? That is so, that is so shit. <laughs> you go first. Okay, I actually really do like this hair. I think that the hair is really, really cool. Um, it, I don't know if it's, um, is it, it, I don't know. It's kind of confusing only because I can't tell if it's going for like nude illusion or not. Um, but I love the silhouette. I love the fucking purple. I love the color purple. The mug is right. The hair is right. Um, Ocean Kelly. You are pussy putting around. I'm gonna I'm gonna have to say it's not glamour. It's not glamour. <laughs> it, okay, I just I okay, I think that the harnesses, oh I think that maybe what it is is that the harnesses are, are very simple over this this garment, but then I'm thinking because I I mean Blair St. Clair was just in a shirt and we gave it glamour. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So And that's right, right, right. It feels it feels unfair. No, I agree. I agree. I just think keeping in mind how it feels in there, you're meeting so many people. Like it's it, it's serving. Like she looks fucking stunning. But when I'm when if we're talking about glamour and just like everything all together, um, I, I don't know. I guess I would have to say no for this one. Yeah, I'm gonna have to give this one a no glamour. But if we was in the clubs, I would live. If I saw her perform, I would live. We live for you, Jan. We live for you. All right, who's up next? Okay, oh, we have yeah. Simone, the, uh, oh my God, former reigning. Yes. It just occurred to me, she's not even, oh my God, girl, this is, I mean, we can break down what's great. This is great. This is amazing, yeah. This, this is, I mean, maybe I Gia Gunn didn't walk by her booth, because this is, this is full <laughs> glamour. Yeah, she looks stunning. I love how the jacket is on the shoulder. I love the pants. I love the hair. I love the mug. Uh, everything is stunning. It's stunning. Yeah, this, she looks like. Like she looks like like look him. I was just about to say that it it kind of is very reminiscent of Kim. Yeah, I love it. I love it. It's glamour. It's glamour. It's glamour. All right, who we got next? I also want to quickly say to anyone watching, I don't promise that you will find any quantifiable measure of glamour here today. <laughs> oh my God, you can say that again. <laughs> I'm doing this so fast. As I said before, I am just a queer with an opinion, and you are going to hear it. All right, Thorgy, I love this look. I really, I really, oh, I love this too. This, this I this love it. It's great. It's very club kid. It's very club kid. Very, very club kid. And I guess what I'm saying is it glamorous and not. I'm just saying, do I like the look? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because this isn't really glamour. I mean, it's like a, a looks like, like a neoprene dress with like a, with like a pig drawn on the front. But yeah. it's so campy. I'm obsessed. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love how it looks like it's like spray painted, almost. Yeah, like airbrush or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love that. Uh, I would say glamour. It's glamour? Yeah. I'm giving glamour. Not Jan being the only one who doesn't have glamour yet. <laughs> <laughs> okay, y'all, when I tell you I love this bitch, it's Jiggly Caliente. Oh, yes, 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 yes. We stand jiggly in this house. Yes, we do, we do, we do. Have you have you been working on your Bobby Dragman impersonation at all? Um, I think I could do it pretty good. Monet, 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 this is, Monet, this is wild, Monet. No, Mo Monet, Monet. Just wear it. Just wear it. You have to go. This is this, this is, is wild. This, this is wild, Monet. Oh my God, I have to do you on Snatch Game. So 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 it's, 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 it's either this is wild or it's, this is wild. <laughs> this is wild. My voice. I've been screaming too much during this Monet, weekend. This is wild. That's crazy. I wish I could get that high. Monet, this is cr Monet. Monet. <laughs> All right, Jiggly Caliente. This. I want to say this. This dress looks like it's made from an IKEA bag on on pictures, but in person it is actually a very very nice fabric. 
Mm. Like it is a like this picture is doing a, a weird thing because it, it looks like she's wearing a like a gown made from an IKEA bag, but it really it was a very nice fabric in person. Um, and can I just say right now, if you're gonna drag con, y'all, look at what Jiggly's doing. First of all, sitting. This is what you need to do at drag con. Jan was in a corset standing. Bitch, that is wild. Yeah, yeah. You do not want to be in a corset standing at DragCon. You want to be sitting. You want to be in a loose fitting gown. Drag DragCon is a marathon. Also, do not feel pressure to do 19 looks, a different look every day. If you're a drag race girl, if you're a drag race girl and you're at DragCon, wear one of your outfits from the season. The fans will love to see that. Mm -hmm. You do not need to be buying brand new looks for all the No, no, no. Wear one of your looks from the season. I mean, this is advice I have not taken. My, actually, no, I, I wore my first first dress, my first drag con, I think. Um, anyway, I think she looks really beautiful. I think so too. I really love it with this black hair, especially. Um, the, I think the black hair, <clears throat> my favorite over the other one. Um, she looks stunning. So this is definitely a glamour. It's glam. I'm giving it's glam. glam. I, I, we, we have we have detected glamour. Yep. All right, who mm -hmm. do we have next? Down the line, I'm gonna. Um, I mean. Of, who's your favorite look out of all these people? Immediately, I'm looking at Raja and immediately, the Vivian. Immediately, immediately Raja. Yeah, immediately looking at Raja. Um, Raja looks, they all look, mm, let me see, let me get into everybody's look. Everybody looks really fucking good. I mean, I think my favorite will be Vivian and Raja for sure. I love um, the Vivian shoulder pads with these glasses. It looks really cool. Um, that's Monet, right? Yeah, that's Monet. Monet is looking super, super good. Um, Jinx is looking. Yeah, I think everybody looks good, honestly. And your name is Monet. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm like, let me make sure. But no, no, they all look great. So this this is a part of the cast of All Star Seven. Uh, Shay's not there. Evie's not there. Um, but I just love. Okay, this by the way, y'all. I told y'all this YouTube page is about to turn into a Raja Stan account. So if you're not here for it, fuck off. Like <laughs> I am obsessed with Raja. I saw her at DragCon. We walked together for a second. I was like, I love you so much. So they all they all look they all truly look glamorous. Mm -hmm. But I'm gonna give the top glam to Raja for me. This look the, the chainmail, the crown, the it's so regal. Yeah, I'm gonna say And Raja means king in in um in, in in the Indonesian language. Oh, I did not know that. That that's really cool. Yeah, I'm gonna have to agree. I would say it's all glamour. Um I would say my favorite is the Vivian in this one. Viv does look good. I just really love the color. Like that baby blue is like my favorite color. Yeah, gal. Viv looks great, gal. All right. <laughs> Um, oh, two looks. Tia Coffee. Oh, yes. Or as Americans call her, Tior. <laughs> give it up for Tior. From the, from the legend that has a coffee, give it up for Tior. <laughs> <laughs> Can we insert this video of me dragging Thorgy from her booth to Tia Coffee's booth oh, and yelling, hit her? That was hilarious. That was hilarious. No, the, I like both these looks. I do too. Tia really has had a glow up. Oh my gosh, absolutely, yeah. She's been looking crazy, like, postseason, she's been, like, really, really stunning. I'm gonna give this, I'm gonna say Glamour for sure. Oh my God, we've only told one person they weren't Glamour. That's good. But, the, but then that one person, the one person that Oh. <laughs> Bitch. Ah! It's giving Glamour, go to the next one. Period. Um, Honey Davenport. One of my oldest drag sisters. Oh, yes, 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 yes. She looks yes. amazing. I love this. I love this. It's very, very on brand. I love the hair. I love the slick black. I love how it's flat. I love it. I love it. I love it. Love love it. We might, we're going to have to redo Jan. <laughs> <laughs> Let's redo it. I think we both were so thrown off. But I just was not expecting that. I, I didn't even see I, I didn't even see her wear that yet. It's given very much... It sounds like I'm, I'm about to get a text. I'll be getting texts after, after these little reviews. Yeah, I, don't, I can't go down with you. <laughs> I hope like it wasn't me. It was a deep fake. Um, deep, <laughs> not a deep fake. All right, let's get, um, who's next? 
Oh, Jessica Wild. Are those feathers? Okay, I, I can't. Okay, Jan is not by herself anymore. Okay. I, 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 the feathers, they just look so wanting. Like, it looks like they're, I don't know, I just don't, I can't really tell what is really going on with these feathers, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 the way that it's flaring. Um, I think that her hair looks really good, her mug is right. I would say the look for this one is a, is kind of like a meh. Yeah, her, her hair just, and mug are great. Yeah, great. It, it looks really good, but I see exactly what you're talking about. It's kind of just hard to tell, at least in this photo. Maybe it looks different, like, in person, but at least from this photo, it's kind of like, what, what's going on down there? What's all that movement back there? <laughs> hey, what's all that movement back there? What's all that movement? What's all that movement back there? Tuna Burger is a absolute nightmare. Can I tell you a quick story about this this monster of a person? Not Tuna Burger, yeah. Tiny Boner, what she did was, <laughs> I went by her fucking booth, and I was like, you saying hey and everything, and then she cornered me. No, not even cornered me. Like she, w I, I was, I was like trying to leave, and and she kept yelling, "Oh my God, is Bob the drag queen screaming it? Oh my God, is Bob the <laughs> everyone, everyone, look, is Bob the drag queen?" And I was like, "Tina, stop!" And I tried to go, and she, she was wearing flats, yeah. So she'd run ahead of me and grab me uh -huh. and not let me leave. And she's a big, strong man, <laughs> and she would not let me leave. And I was like, "Tina, girl," and then she goes, "Have me on your on your on your YouTube page on your podcast." And I said, "I'll have you." She goes, "No." You need to tell me, like, when am I going to be on it? And I was oh. like, you'll be on it. And this year, and this year, yeah, it's Bob. And oh. everyone is because looking. Because you, you were incog, incog yeah, Negro. And, yeah. <laughs> and she's like, it's Bob, it's Bob. And I'm like, oh, my God. And then I said, Tina, I'll have you on the show. And she goes, no, tell me a time. I need a time and a oh date. Oh, my God. And I said, tomorrow at noon. And she goes, a promise. I said, Tina, I promise I will have you on my YouTube page. And she is grabbing me. And then I try to walk away. And she walks all, I mean, she leaves her booth, walks all the way half across the convention center uh -huh. to harass me. Oh my God. That is hilarious. I mean, Tina's one of my oldest friends, but she is a fucking <laughs> monster. That's fucking, that's, that's Tuna Burger. Tuna burger. Oh my gosh. Anyway, no glam. <laughs> <laughs> wait. Anyway, no wait, glam. Wait. Um, I think it's simple. I think it's comfortable. I love the wig. Every first off. Yeah, that, that's how drag wants to be described. Comfortable. Every queen <laughs> wants their drag to be described as comfortable. No, but the, I actually do. That's the gag. I'm. I, <laughs> um, I'm. It, it's, the dress. The dress is. It's. 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 It's, it's, it's going to be no glamour for me. It's going to be no glamour. Tina Burner is a nightmare. And someone needs to stop her. Okay, Aquaria, winner of RuPaul's Drag Race season 10. Yes. Also not invited to the winter season. Ooh. I'm just kidding. I don't know. I'm just kidding. I don't know. That's, that, that is conjecture. RuPaul? I do not know if, if Aquaria was even invited. <laughs> what are these shoes she's wearing? Does anyone know who made these shoes? I've seen those before. Um... Widow Sin. They were so, like, I don't even, I've never seen, I have never seen anything like these shoes that she's wearing, yeah, ever. Yeah, those are cool as hell. I love it, I love it. The Aquaria looks great. Yeah, yeah. This is glam. This is perfect, this is perfect. What's with these mannequins, though? Why, why are the mannequins in? Replace them with human beings. Ooh. Oh, Nikki Doll, that's at DragCon? Wow. Her booth looks really cool. Yeah, she looks amazing. I love how the hair is pulled back so you can see like the mug fully. Um, this is glamorous. Yeah, this is glamour. This is glamour down. I love it. It's, it's almost like this icy kind of look, like almost like this icy kind of thing going on, very frozen. The difference between reviewing the Met Gala and DragCon is I'm going to run into all these girls. Uh-huh. <laughs> I'm not running into Blake Lively. All right, right, right. <laughs> Yet, and so I, I will say this: I, I've been sharing a lot of pages with a lot of people, and I'd be running into them, and I'd be like, "Oh my god, this is, this is so uncomfortable." How how often do you get confronted? Um, all people ever actually confronted me, confronted me, were um was Silky, mm -hmm. um Vanji, Tamisha, the the Vixen. Damn. Um, oh, Rosé confronted me one time. Who else? That's really it. But but all were resolved very, very, very nicely. Yeah. You saw Monet and Tamisha hanging out? I did. I love that moment. I love that moment. 
I love um I think I think it was Mon Monet that posted it first. I was like, please post what happened after that because she said, Oh bitch, what's up? Or something, <laughs> just like cut it on purpose. And I was I, like, it was really nice to see. And I I was like, I'm so happy that they actually had that moment that they were able to talk to talk it out yep. and have a great moment. And um to me, she watching this, I love you and please unblock me on Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> Tisha, I love you. Please unblock me on Instagram. Oh my god! Y'all send this send this clip to Tamisha. <laughs> Tell her I'm sorry. That is. Hilarious. I would just on the way here. Was I not just singing her praises? No, we were just screaming, screaming the lyrics to Tamisha. Tamisha. Iman, it's, it's coming, coming for, for you, you to show the, the girls girl. what I can do. Yep. Okay, these looks are great. So good. She is the queen of the mother tucking world. Yeah, that is her title. Yep. Um, and she looks. I mean, Blue Hydrangea looks fucking. Stundralina. They all look amazing. I love how it goes with like the background of like where her booth is. That's I think that's her booth, but like yeah. I I love it. It's almost like this holographic kind of thing going on. But yeah, she looks amazing. Oh, here's your homegirl. Yes. Amazing. Polish check, glam check, painted check, fierce check, talent check. Yeah, she ate. Nigeria, Paris, Van Michaels, Dupree, Balenciaga. The house down boots. I love this look so much. I loved uh, when she did the walk. It looked really good because where the, the placement of the bow and just how like it was. It was just so flowy. Very very pretty. And here looks really good here. No, yeah, it is. It's stunning. 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 I wanted to ask her what happened to that look she wore for that massive. Did she take that shit home? Or did she just leave it in Vegas? Okay. Um, Heidi in closet. What is going on? Um, oh, she's a dentist. Oh, no. you, you know, you're not here for it? No, no, no. <laughs> Heidi. Heidi. I just can't tell what's going on, and I can't get into this. And I love Heidi, but it's it's a no for me, dog. I'm going to say glamour only because, mainly because, I like that it's a theme. I like that it's a theme. I love the gap. I love the chair. I, I get the theme up top. I don't like the pink fabric, though. I don't like the pink fabric. Is the, back, is the, is the wall in the back, is it green? I can't tell. It might be green. She's on a green screen. No, Mary. No. <laughs> Kylie Sonique Love. Um, to end like Dolly. It's, it's actually is giving very early two thousands glamour. Uh huh. Mm hmm. Very like, like Britney, kind of like the circus era. I've always thought she looked so much like Erica Jane. I would definitely give this one. I would definitely say this is glamour because of the early two thousands. I love the hat. <laughs> Um, I love the lips she's sitting on. So yeah, I will say glamour for this. I feel like I am speeding through my makeup. Oh, me, I absolutely am. I absolutely am. Like, I am. I'm like, looking crazy as hell bitch, right now. But there is no glamour detected. Oh <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, yeah, yeah. That's that's already off the table. Is this Yuha Hamasaki and um and and uh, Aquaria? I love that Aquaria really had a through line for her drag con. Aquaria's a very clever person. She's really interesting. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I've known her since she was like 19 years old. I, <laughs> I don't understand what, what's going on with you, Hawk, at, at, at all. I love how we both lean it's in every time. <laughs> just, for, just for confirmation. No, you have not glamour. And and I'm going to give little Miss um, Aquaria another glamour. Yeah, I'm going to agree with that. I would say that... Um... The the Yuha look it, as as a girl who loves rainbow it kind of it does give that so I I don't necessarily mind it's comfortable but I would say I would say the glamour would have to go to Aquaria for sure. I wonder when they do a review of all people who review. I'm gonna review Bussy Queen. Review Jake Yance. <laughs> yes, the queen. The queen is in the motherfucking. Hey, game. this is a shady picture of me, yo. <laughs> The queen is in the building. Okay, Gia Gun did my lashes. <laughs> <laughs> ah, ah, ah. My, no. I, what are I, I think two different people did my eyebrows. <laughs> <laughs> my crown is going one way. The wig is going the other. Yes. Come on, sibling rivalry. No, this is no, no, no. This is sibling riverly. Oh, when the when the. <laughs> When it got misspelled, that is so fucking funny. Can I funny. tell you that we were sitting in front of this sign for three days? Three days. That's crazy. And did not realize that this bitch said sibling riverly until someone online dragged us 
and everyone let your girls fucking have it, honey. So nobody at the entire, on the entire weekend said anything. Mitch is the creator of Sibling Riverly. What, the, the name? Oh, yeah, Sibling Riverly. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> when Mitch used to produce our podcast, uh, he made an email, and it was like siblingriverly.com. Oh, my gosh. And then we couldn't go back because someone already had sibling rivalry. So we just we were just using the email siblingriverly.com <laughs> for like a year and a half. Oh, my God. That is hilarious. Okay, I stand by this look. I like this look a lot. I do. It's very, it's very, very club kid. I wish the blue. If look, oh, okay, I thought you was looking at me. I was like, don't hit me, don't hit me. Hit her. No, but I the the flowy thing that's right here. I wish it was like a little higher. Just like so oh, the see. little tool collar. Yeah, if it was a little higher, so I could see like what's right here. When I tell you that I made this dress mm -hmm. the night before DragCon. Oh wow. And I'm when I say the night, bitch, I mean the night. Wow. Before DragCon. Who this? Oh, she up. <laughs> yes! Come through. It's giving you very much ghetto glam girl. Okay, no, let me be serious. Let me be serious. I can't, I can't justify this behavior. No, okay, let me tell you. So, on the left, it was giving, you know, just very comfortable. I would give myself a 10 on the mug, a 10 on the hair, and the fit, I would say, is not giving glamour. I definitely came to be comfortable. I came in some champion shoes. I said, I don't know how hot it's gonna be in here, so I'm gonna be prepared. I'm gonna give you very, very fan. Very fan energy. Kelly. That's no shade to the fans there, because a lot of them is looking really good. <laughs> no shade. Yeah, Kelly just said the fan base. <laughs> oh, see, Bob's already, I see how Monet feels. Wow, I'm being attacked. This is crazy, this is wild. This I is not believe this Kelly. I can't do it again. I cannot believe Kelly just declared war on the entire oh, drag race. <laughs> not me now being Gia Gun. <laughs> Kelly said, there, I saw the fans and there was zero glamour. <laughs> Stop. Kelly said, I did not. Kelly said, say what you want. <laughs> Bitch, I saw the fans and there was zero glamour. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Kelly, I, I cannot in good faith. I cannot in good faith. No, I, I agree with you. I, I would have to say this is not giving glam. Um, I would say from the neck up is giving glam down. Um, <laughs> read myself. Um, but no, it's just giving very much comfortable. But also, give you um, full T, Kelly. I was on Drag Race and I wasn't giving glam. Yeah. I mean, I didn't have a booth. I'm coming. I'm just coming, you know, to meet everybody. Um But yeah, I would say that it's not giving glam on the left. However, on the right, the right is giving me very... Ghetto glamour. I do actually <laughs> like these uh, these black and white pants. Where would you get these from? Thank you. Um, rainbow. You better work. <laughs> I told you, I'm a rainbow girl. I do love I, the um the black and white pants. is actually is actually very cute. And I would I would I would actually really love like an elevated version of this look for you. Like oh, that would be fierce. Imagine if it went all the way up, but somehow I always like to keep something open. So if it was if it went all the way up and like kind of like opened here, just on a small amount of pussy. Yeah. Yes. The notion of pussy. All right, so we have reviewed all the looks. We have decided there was some glamour at DragCon. Yep. And now let's finish our mugs and our hair. Yes. And we will see you in a second. Yes. Honestly, um, if you all want to comment below on how gorgeous you think we are, please Ooh. leave your comments. Hashtag first first impressions in the comment section below, honey. Uh, I will never not love this wig. Yeah, it looks really good on you. And do you get why this wig feels so powerful now Now that you have it on your head? Yeah, because it's very powerful. It's heavy and it's like pulling me down. <laughs> no, it's very heavy. This is the heaviest hair I ever wore. I feel like the Black Lady Bunny is giving me very much <laughs> Banshee Black Lady Bunny. Like This is my caftan that I wore in my comedy special, um, Bob the Drag Queen Live at Carolines. Oh, word. Which is available um, on iTunes and Amazon. Word. Okay, now tell us, Ocean Kelly, if they want to find you, where can they find you at? You can find me everywhere at Hey Ocean Kelly. That's Twitter, Instagram, TikTok. Uh, but most importantly, streaming. Please stream my new single, The Only One. Just I really in. recommend it. I yes. really recommend it. First off, let's get into the madness. Thick, legit, bitch, got the rice in the cabbage. cabbage. I'm, I'm top, top tier, tier and I never been average. average right? Beyonce, Beyonce, I should have featured on Savage. savage. I go yes. in like, at the M. I got sent in as an M. I was in M. 
Can I say how great the line I've been getting my tens? I've been getting my tens. I was watching Ben 10 at the age of 10. 10. I'm here to win, bitch. That's okay. really great. Okay. You really have to get into Ocean Kelly. Thank um, you. Thank Ocean, you. You, I want y'all to go to Ocean Kelly's um, Spotify and find out why Ocean Kelly was one of my number one streamed artists. Ocean Kelly was in my top five of 2021. That is so cool. And that's so cool. I mean, some really fucking great music and um, really a great uh, pop culture. Um, person like so many great just really great great at capturing the moment congrats on all of that and you Thank all should you go so check much. out why ocean kelly is just so fucking fair we're, we're we were looking at the camera now we're just looking at ourselves <laughs> right, right no i'm very honored to be here thank you for having me i literally have seen every youtube video you've ever uploaded and probably heard every podcast so this is really cool for me um yeah this it is nice to be, to be such a big fans of each other yeah it, this is really cool this is really cool manifestation folks so um, thank you all for joining us. And, oh, the great dragon named Manny, Manny Festation. Uh, oh yes. <laughs> uh, thank you all for joining us. And um, we have decided there was there was indeed some glamour. Oh, absolutely. There was there was a lot of glamour. Everybody honestly looked very very glamorous. Yeah. So congratulations to you all. And Gia Gunn, thank you for another iconic internet moment. I mean, you're the gift that keeps on giving. She keeps it coming, child. Like it keeps it. Say coming. what y'all want about Gia Gunn, but she is the gift that keeps on giving. <laughs> At this point, the dolls really are. The dolls. All right. Thank you all so much. And we'll see you later. Bye. Bye.